Welcome back, everybody, to another video. We're going to be talking about the GA4 e-commerce breakdown, what they've updated, um, how to use GA4 e-commerce outside of GA4. We're going to build a report in Looker Studio, talk about how the uh, items might be different for your use case, um, as well as how that has might have broken some of your reports over um, the past year. So we're gonna talk about all those things. Drop a like down below, it helps out a lot. And if you have not yet, down, uh, go get the uh, Looker Studio cheat sheet. Um, it basically gives you eight different steps that allow you to quickly kind of QC a report before you hit publish, send it off to a boss, client, uh, spouse, whoever you like to send your reports to. Um, it's really helpful. Also, I write a newsletter every single week that goes out every Thursday. It's pretty bomb diggity. So go download that thing over there and we're gonna hop right into the video. All right, first thing I wanna show you is when you look at GA4, go take a look at the uh, documentation update. So here in 2023, you can see on February 15th, they added large sale data, data quality icon, all these different things. We don't really care about it. What we do care about, right folks, is that there is a scope change within the GA4 interface. And I'm gonna show you what that means because I don't wanna just tell you, I wanna show you. So here we are inside of uh, look or, or GA4. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first hide my face and we're gonna get a little bit bigger here. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you how to replicate this problem. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna hop down here into dimensions. We're gonna add an item and we're gonna type in item name because who wouldn't wanna know what the product is that they're buying, import that. We are then gonna go into item views or item view items, geez. Oh, there it is, item, or sorry, it's a item, item view events, right? And then we might have like add to carts. Okay, it's really trying to, all right, and then we might have um, purchase, right? Items purchase. I just wanna add all these to show you kind of how this looks. So once you add all of these, the first thing you do is add items, and then you will see that they grade out. So item view events, items add to carts. So the problem that you now run to, run into, and let's open this date range, do like the past, do, 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 do. Let's just go way back. This is a small site, nothing too fancy. All right, so here you can see items added to cart and then items purchased, okay? But the problem you're gonna find out here is that we cannot have how many view, item view events, the item view event does no longer work. So the problem that this gives you, okay, is that one, you are unable to have a conversion rate of the item, right? You, how many item views and then how many transactions containing the item did I have? That is the question. How do we answer that? Um, there are a couple of ways. Uh, Simo Ahava, uh, awesome person, I'll link the post down below, gave like a session uh, breakdown. So basically where you're looking at sessions and then instead of the, um, you're looking at sessions and then view items. So we'll just talk about that really quickly. So here we have the row of the item name what we're gonna add in is the event name. We're gonna import that, all right. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the event name as the columns here. And then instead of having the, the, actual, um, the actual add to carts, et cetera, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use two different metrics. We're going to use the event count, right? So the number, the quantity of events that has occurred which it doesn't let us add for some reason. Gotta love some GA4. All right, we're just gonna get rid of those, start from scratch. All right, well, folks, let's see if this helps. Okay, why this is not happening is one of the, the number of times you use the trigger can event, right? So it doesn't really help. So we're gonna do one more thing. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of all of these. We're gonna start from scratch one last time. So event count. And let's just see if this, and we're also gonna add in sessions here. So I, I don't think this is gonna work, but we'll just gonna try item name and event name. All right, if this works and the previous didn't, I'm gonna be 
Okay, so item name does no longer work with event count, but apparently it does work with session. So here is the solution. Um, we then have the uh, event name that we're gonna put as the columns. So now what we have is the um, view item, right? Purchase, begin checkout, etc. So you should, I think you can like rearrange them if you'd like to. Um, in our case, we only have view item and purchase, but you should be able to see all of your e-commerce events uh, that happen within this piece. And if you do not, for example, say you needed to um, have something a little bit more special, what you can do is right down here, do, 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 um, you can then add in a filter that looks just for the event name. So here you can use event name, let me get rid of my head real quick. Event name, and then what you can say is that it matches the regex, right? And you could say view underscore item, right? Pipe add to cart pipe and purchase, right? So now you have the event names that work just like that. Bada beam, bada boom, you now have a e-commerce report broken down by the event names um, and the item name. So you have the item name there, and then you have the uh, e-commerce section on the top. You now have a basic report inside the Explorer reports. You can get these things out of the way. But what if you want to do that inside of Looker Studio? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over hippity hop into another tab of Looker Studio. I'm gonna show you what I did right here and you can view this and make a copy of it down below in the comments or in the, in the thread down below because what if you wanted to do this yourself? Okay, what we have here is we are using uh, the same account, Looker Studio VIP, but you can select any account you'd like to. Um, and what we have is the view items, add to carts, purchases, just like we had before. But how we are doing that is a little bit different. So how we were able to do this, step one is to do the exact same method. So what you have here is, is a blended data source, right? Go watch the blended data source there. And what you will see here is that we have the item name, right, view item. We then have the item name again, add to cart, item name and purchases. This is simply filters right here that are added into to include the event name of view item. So just to clarify, so if you were playing along at home, this is the exact same method that we were using in the GA4 UI, just transposed into Looker Studio. So here, because we have to, um, like do this, we were just adding filters to a blend to have a funnel using the event name and we are blending on the actual uh, item name. So that way we have the item name, we have the number of sessions that completed each event. So now theoretically, let's just get this out of the way. Um, we should be able to select an item right here. So if we go to view mode, select an item and say, hey, what is this item? And now we have a super, super simple report right there. So let me do this last year because we don't have that much data from this year. Let's do a lot. Let's just try last quarter. All right, there we go. Not sure why this is giving us an error right here. So let's just debug that really quickly. And we hit the quota limit because I was demoing this before. So that is it. I'll link this in down below, guys. Um, that is part of the problem with the quota limits is that you're unable to do things. So um, the exact same method works and I'll link this Looker Studio report down below and put a video of it actually working. So that way you can test it out, try it out and see how it works. So without any further ado, guys, uh, this has been a quick recap of what's happening today inside of the GA4 updates, Looker Studio, all that jazz in one spot. I will see you in the next one.